Hey everybody, this is a video to teach you how to use the keys on the Photoshop side of life. So the RPG PS workflow module. Um, I'm going to go ahead and minimize Lightroom. Uh, and here we are in Photoshop. So, um, let's have a look here. First of all, you want if you want to, the, the new system is totally customizable. So, you're going to notice after you've done the install that the, there's, a, there's a, an action called the RPG ASM. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and hit play. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to open up the, the, new, uh, the new tool. Um, if you have a quick gander at your uh, keyboard, you're going to notice that the keys, the, the gray part of the keys all have numbers. So you're going to have one and slash one and two and slash two all the way up to 49. Okay, so this means you have a total of 98 programmable keys on the RPG key. Um, this tool that you're looking at, it's really clever. Um, first of all, it's going to go and it's going to find all of your Photoshop actions. Okay, so um, it, you know, it's going to find the group. So like I've got one, we were just at Imaging USA and I made a black and white action. So I'm going to click on Imaging USA and sure enough, it just found all of the actions that I put in that Imaging USA uh, folder or group, action group. Um, it also finds your tools, if you've got any scripts, um, if you've got any album making software, a lot of it's script based. This is going to go and it's going to find those tools for you. Okay. Um, as an example, we've got um, some RPG ones. These come, in, come installed um, with when you run the installer. But this is a whole bunch of tools that allow you to select your favorite Photoshop tool. So like if you want to select the dodge tool, so if you want button one to be dodge tool, you would just go ahead and hit there and select and hit use tool. And now button one is going to grab the dodge tool. Um, you've also got brushes and you can create your own favorite Photoshop brushes. I've got a bunch of crop ones that we use for um, Imaging USA. So if we wanted to, I don't know, let's say button two to grab our five by seven by 300 DPI brush, Boom, grabbed it, and now use preset. And so now button two is going to grab that, that crop tool. Um, so you're going to use this instrument or this uh, you know, program to customize the keys for use in Photoshop. Um, one of my favorite tools okay, is in the RPG tool section. And it's called the RPG Launcher Next. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to make key, look at my keyboard. I'm going to make key 36. The RPG Launcher Next, okay, and I use this when I'm filling a print order and I've got a folder full of JPEGs. So I'm going to hit, go ahead and use tool, hit OK, hit Next, and what this does. So now key 36 is now assigned to the RPG Launcher Next tool, okay. So if I hit that key, like I'm about to do, the first time it's going to run a little slow, the next time it's going to run a little faster. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit Save. It's going to save it. It's going to close it, and look at that. It opened up the next image. Okay, it goes that tool. Okay, and my, one of my favorite tools in this new this new install, it saves your photos to their over their current. If it's a JPEG, it saves it over its current um, you know file. It looks for the next photograph numerically or alpha, or alphabetically. Um, if you go ahead and you add a layer, let's let's go up here. Oh, and let's say we're back in Photoshop. We can't here because the screen capture won't let me add a layer, but. Um, if you have if it's a layered file and you run that that tool it's going to save it as a J, as a psd file and not touch the original jpeg but here we go next all right so i'm going to press a key on the keyboard that i haven't assigned anything to so i'm going to go ahead and hit key number 19 and it's going to say this preset has not been allocated so here we go it's going to open up the rpg tool for me i'm going to say okay key 19 i want key 19 to be um, black and white. So I'm going to go down here to my, one of my action groups that I know there's a black and white and I'm going to say, okay, BW1. Now key 19 is going to do black and white. So here we go. Boom. It just grabs that preset and we're going to go to the next photo. It's going to save it. It's going to close it. And it's going to open the next image. Okay, so that's basically how you use the new Photoshop app, the new RPG PS uh, app. Um, allows you to customize the keys, the gray level of the keys. Um, play with it. Play with the brushes as well. So here, I'm going to just do a brush. Okay. So I hit a key that doesn't has not been programmed. It's going to open up the thing. Let's say let's say we want to do key 22. So I'm going to say key 22. I want this to be 
um, a crop, let's say a five by seven by, by I don't know, um, five by seven by 300 vertical. Okay, I'm gonna say use preset. Okay, so now let's say we're you know editing our image in, we wanna actually do fill the order, we're gonna go ahead and hit the button, boom. Oh, I didn't save it. You gotta actually save it. Five by seven by 300. Use preset, key 22 has been assigned, okay. And so now it's gonna go and it's gonna grab that key and it's gonna crop the image for me. It's gonna allow me to, to assign the crop. Okay, so that's it. Um, you know, have fun and of course, as always, uh, give us a call if you have any problems or questions. Take care.